hello hello guys this is hcm and welcome back to our channel first and foremost i would like to thank you guys very very much for the support that you are giving us thank you for watching our videos thank you for subscribing and please i want to implore you guys if uh, you are watching and you liked our videos please uh, do subscribe watch and subscribe to our channel so today being that today is the 24th of june 2023 so what you're doing today is uh finalizing on the steel work because previously we were doing the form work and when the form work was done the next step was to do steel work and one of the challenges that we got when doing the steel work is that the the, the first person that we contracted to do this job kind of just disappeared after working for a day or two then he decided to disappear without saying anything and the, uh, the the unfortunate thing is that he even he didn't even do the right job he did a very shorty job and he didn't even finish so we had to look for another person so we contracted another guy to come and fix um uh you know the the mistakes that the, the previous guy had done some of the parts had to be redone and now was one of the disadvantages of redoing the steel work is that you know initially uh, the plumbing uh, the plumbing work had been fixed the electrical conduits had been fixed so when all these were being redone some of them got broken so we still had to call back the electrician we had to call back the plumber to at least fix uh, the places that um, uh, had issues before we do we did the concrete slab pour so um as you can see uh, this these guys are really trying to do their best especially the guy who's doing the steel work because he has to, and uh, he has to finish this work before tomorrow uh, the 25th because we have decided that uh, we are going to uh, do the concrete pour on the 25th of June so he has to really you know work around the clock so that he can finish finish this work before tomorrow and um, I really feel for him because he is really trying and he has to complete the job because we are really running out of time so one of the thing one of the things that uh, we did because when we were doing the when we were pouring the concrete slab of the ground floor we ran out of water and the guys who are mixing the concrete had to wait for uh, like two hours before uh, resuming work and you know we really wasted a lot of time so this time around we decided that we are going to do a temporary water tank so that at least you can have enough reservoirs so that when they come uh, they'll, we, they'll have enough water to do their mixing so even the piped water that is here the last time we didn't have enough pressure to match the speed of the guys who are doing the, the, the mortar mix so this time around we have enough water that is uh, that's it uh, yeah it's it's going to be enough the only issue is that um, when they started the work um, the guys who are doing the the mortar mix they they used they were using buckets to draw water from the reservoir but it it was taking a lot of time because now uh, they had to sometimes you know stop the motor so what we did is uh, we had to get a pump so the pump is pumping water straight to where they are so they don't have to go back and forth back and back and forth when mixing their uh, motor and the the most fascinating thing i've seen is how well coordinated these guys are because there are people who whose job are just on the cement there are guys who are just on water. There are people who are on the ballast. There are people who are on the grey sand, and there are people who you know the grey sand or the rock sand. And there are the people. There are people who are at the river sand. So I, I don't know how they do it because um, I'm not sure what what quantities or what ratios they are mixing. But for to some extent, they really understand whatever they're doing and. 
they they really coordinate this process you just see water getting in you see sand going in you see cement going in you see the ballast you see you know all these things are going in and they mix them and uh, you don't know and, and at some point you just you just see them like everyone has stopped you know putting putting uh, stuff in the mixer so they've done this for a long time and they really understand what they're doing and of course when it's a big a really very very big project all these things are automated because you can't be doing this manually the way they're doing and expect to finish on time you have to um automate this process but of course in most developed countries even small projects are automated but since yeah we are in kenya we're still developing these are the guys that sometimes we have to use and also since um they've, they've mastered their craft you know we have to give them jobs and they also have to do these jobs and and um, earn a living from them so we hope that we are going to be done uh, in the next seven to eight hours because even the other one almost took um, uh, almost took the around seven to eight hours but the only the challenge here is that is that you know they're going like upwards so getting the motor up there in as much as they're using the pulley system of getting the the motor from the ground up going up it's so manual and it's still a lot of work so let's hope that uh, in the next eight hours or seven hours they'll be able to finish this project We had to add more materials because we didn't want uh, these uh, the artisans to get to a place where they didn't have enough materials. And now, because sometimes procuring these materials, they take time from the time you make a call and, and up to the time the materials get get to the site. It really takes a lot of time. That's why now we had to really plan and get uh, them all the materials they needed artisans have everything that they need they have the water they have the all the raw materials that they require so that should not be a problem just 20 minutes after uh, the, the the guys were doing the water mix are done and it, you can see it's still wet and this this, this floor has a very big span it has taken them quite a while and I think they only rested for like 10 minutes to take a lunch break they've been working since morning and I can't really explain you know the kind of strength or the kind of energy these guys have but at the end of the day they do their work diligently and they work uh, around the clock to make sure that they finish this work on time so as you can see it's still wet and uh, and um, you know you can, even you can also see the footprints and this is inevitable because you know in as much as the, the guys were up here working um, they have to uh, go down so as they go down of course they have to all this mess has to be to be made but in the coming week it is going to cure 
and uh, all this all these uh, things that uh, yeah it's it's going to cure and everything is gonna be good so we are planning uh, to start the wall the second wall the second floor wall not the second floor but the first floor wall in the next eight to ten days but meanwhile from tomorrow uh, curing is going to be started and maybe we'll visit the site after a week to see uh, whatever is going on so I want to really thank you guys you know I'm not checking I'm, I don't take this for granted I want to thank you so much and keep supporting our videos keep watching our videos keep subscribing and let's meet in our next video bye bye